Well, it's about time I put another b batch of these through the mill. Uh, this time we're going to have a go at a uh, sponge technique. Uh, again, I'm going to reiterate and say that I'm no expert. Uh, this is more like a blog post of my experience of trying to get a Rager wagons that don't look all the same. So in the videos I've seen of this sort of method, uh, they most of the people use tweezers and a tiny bit of sponge. I opted for a massive piece of sponge because it's easier to hold rather than trying to grip it in uh, in a pair of tweezers. The effect I'm going for on this one is a sort of a a chipping effect. So it's this is the first base coat of dark grey. And I'll admit at this stage it looks really horrible and quite wor worrying. But the next stage is to then paint inside the uh, grey paint that you've put on in a darker shade and then after we've done that we're going to go over it all again by painting in the darker shade with a rust zone, uh, shade and after that it, it's blending the edges so to take the harshness off with just a little bit of thinner on the brush I didn't want to repeat the, the footage of the internals of this wagon because they're the same as um, the MDO that I've done and the previous ones in this series. I'll leave a link in the corner just here or here. It still looks a bit forced and painted on at this stage. So the next bit to do is go over it again with a wash, a dark wash. I apply this liberally in all of the corners where dirt and muck and grime accumulates. Sometimes it leaves a little bit of a tide mark, so I just clean the brush, put a little bit of thinners on it, and then just go back in and blend it completely out. And because I've got quite attached to the weathering powders, pigments, it's time to go and do the chassis and the lower side of the bodies with them. When I first started doing this, I found it really difficult to do the uh, the chassis and the underframe. But now, when I since I discovered the the joys of weathering powders, it's turned into one of the most enjoyable parts of the build. I didn't want to go too heavy with the powders on the body because I just wanted it to accentuate what we've already done, not overpower it. And in the next episode, I think we might do just weathering powders. I really enjoyed doing this batch and instead of just doing two or three ended up doing quite a few uh, which has broken the back of the the whole rake now so I've got more weathered than unweathered. So that just about wraps this one up. Uh, just going to tell you upcoming we've got um, a class 40, uh, some more grain wagons and then I'm going to just have a bit of a walk around the layout as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.